Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make collage effects with my new mixed media texture pack. This effect was created all digitally and can literally take you less than two to three minutes max to make these effects with textures that look very similar to mine with three times less the amount of work and time and everything. This was done using my new texture pack. If you haven't checked it out, go to my website, creativeflowmarket.com. I'll stop talking and we'll get into the video. Choosing your clips. So these are the clips that I chose. As you can tell, they all have the same color palette. They consistently have this yellow and blue look to them. This is important because if you have really messy colors and just a color palette that's all over the place, um, this collage can become very distracting. Positioning. So one of the main things is your base clip, you want to have lots of negative space. See how the subject is placed in the middle and he's very small? I have all this space around him to work with. If you have lots of stuff going on in the background, the collage can also get very messy. We're going to start by moving these over and we are going to start scaling these down. So I'm going to scale it down and place it about up in this top left corner here. We're going to bring our other clip, do the same thing. But we're, what we're going to want to do is put it to the other side. This is what I was talking about with balance. With collages, you want to have it so one side is not overweighing the other. So if you have all this stuff on this side, it'll work. But I tend to like just having it on each side. It makes it look a lot better, in, in my opinion. And also what we have here is you can kind of see this line that leads from uh, this top corner to the subject to the bottom corner. And it just helps the eyes kind of be able to process what's going on rather than it just being all over the place. Your eyes are looking left, right and all that textures. So this is one of the most important parts of this collage effect. Um, what I'm going to use here is my overlays from my texture pack and so what we're going to want to do here is this is just a square cutout one and we are going to scale this down and put this over one of our clips so what we're going to want to do here also is we are going to want to mask out just the square then this is going to be messy. I mean, it doesn't need to be that clean because it's going to be constantly moving. But what we can do here is add a little feather to it. And now we want to get that positioned a lot better. So what we can do here is click this uniform scale and we'll be able to adjust it to our clip. looks it's pretty good so once we have that we're gonna alt hold alt on our keyboard and we will move this up to the top so this will just make a copy and we will move this over to our top clip and we'll do the same thing here so once you have this what you're going to want to do here is move these clips up and keep your base layer here. What I'm going to do is add another texture to this bottom layer here. And this is kind of what we get right now. Color. So now that we have this nested, we are going to want to add color here. So you can see it's pretty faded here. So we're going to want to step into color, basic correction, and we're going to mess around with these settings. Um, this is where you can be creative with it. Uh, you don't necessarily need to follow these like exact colors. You just kind of play with it based on what your um, clips look like. So you can just kind of mess around and you'll start getting just these looks that are a lot better than what you had before. And that's pretty good, honestly, right there. So I'm going to lower the saturation just a bit. Add a little more highlights, bring down, down the whites a bit. 
and so we have this right here freeze frames all right so usually when you're doing the paint effect or the draw effect or whenever you're just printing out um, usually it's in like frames of two so like you'll have two frames and it'll change to a new clip because this is 24 frames per second you have one you have it moving every frame and so there's multiple ways of doing this the easiest way is if you have sapphire plugins you can just look up freeze and you can drag this um, sapphire freeze frame here once you apply that you want to scroll down and freeze frames you want to just change that to two and so now you can see it's a lot slower and it looks pretty good so it does change the color for some reason so if you want to go back into it and just kind of adjust it around just a bit thank you guys so much for watching we are already at 4,000 subscribers it's crazy to me that we were able to grow so fast so i really appreciate you guys and i'm definitely not taking it for granted so thank you guys from the bottom of my heart i really appreciate it once again i do all these tutorials for free for you guys so if you could go check out my texture pack at creativeflowmarket.com and just go check it out i'm not saying you have to buy it or anything because i know it's not for everyone some people like to do their effects without getting overlays and all this other kind of stuff but if you would like to support me that's a great way to do it and i'd really appreciate it and it means the world to me thank you guys again we'll see you next time